Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 83. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 82 to 86. Hey, this YouTuber asked the question, how can we create a true false formula that'll tell us when a person has entered more than two decimals? So the tr uh, what's okay in the cell is no decimals, one decimal, or two. But as soon as you go beyond uh, three or more decimals, you want a formula that tells you false. Well, this is going to take a bunch of steps. Uh, first, let's see if we can extract two characters after uh, the decimal. So here's the decimal. We want to extract just that nine and that nine. So we're going to use the mid function. The mid function is built exactly for that. It'll extract just a few characters from the middle of a text string. All right, so we'll type equals mid mid. Now it wants the text and the starting numbers and the number of characters. The text is right there, so we click right there, comma. Now the start number, how, where is it in this text string that we, do we want to start extracting things? Well, because this number could be 199 cents or 900,000.99999, we need to uh, find that decimal and st and have it, uh, whatever we do to find it, tell it that that's the second character. Well, there's a function exactly for that. It's called find. The find function does exactly that. Find what text, in quotes, a uh, period or a decimal, end quote. That's the text we want to find. Within what text? This right here. Now, starting number is how many times it occurs. We, in a, a number situation, there's only one decimal, so we don't need that last argument. So that fine, and by the way, right now we know it's 1, 2. If you were to highlight that and hit your F9 key, the F9 key is the evaluate key, you could see the fine delivers a 2 to this formula. I'm going to quickly hit Control Z, that's undo. And I can see that's not it, because that gives me 2. So if I add 1, that'll give me the exact character where I want to start. So I'm going to say plus 1 comma, and how many characters do I want? Since this is extracting two characters, I can just type the number two. And that'll all, always give me a way of finding uh, the two characters right after the decimal. Enter. And that gives me 99. Now, I want to extract all the di di decimals. Oh, I didn't spell digits right there. I'll have to spell check. I am such a bad speller. But I want a, a formula here that will extract all of the characters after the decimal. Now, there's a few common ways of doing this. I'm going to use the replace function. And the replace function equals replace. It, we're just going to tell it find the decimal and replace all of the stuff before the decimal with a blank. So it wants the old text. Well, it, that's it right there comma, and where's the starting number? So the starting number for us is 1, because we want it to start at the beginning of the text ring and go all the way into wherever the decimal is. So we'll just type a 1 here. The number of characters we want to go in from the first character, so 1, 2, for us it's going to be 2, but we need a dynamic way of doing this. So we'll use find again, F-I-N-D. Find what text? In quotes, a decimal. Within what text? This text right here, close parentheses. So that'll give us the number 2. So right now, it's looking there. It's starting at 1 and going into 2. And now we have to tell it that little uh, text string right there from 1 all the way to 2, what do we replace it with? Comma. And the new text is going to be blank. So see, what we've done here is we've just said, hey, find all that text and replace it with blank. So it'll return just the 999. Now, I want to check to see if someone entered two or fewer decimals. So we're going to use these two uh, uh, parts of formulas in one as a true-false. Now, here's a great trick. Instead of recreating all of these, um, we could, a little bit at a time, put it into edit mode and copy. But watch this. There is a clipboard. And in 2003, you go Control-C-C, and that opens the clipboard. In 2007, unless you have it set up to do that control CC, it doesn't do it in options. We just go to the Home tab and click right there. 
And I'm going to uh, make the, this a little bit smaller here. Now watch this. I'm going to put this into edit mode, not that small. I'm going to put this into edit mode. And I'm going to, ooh, I'm going to clear all. Clear all. And I'm going to, with this in edit mode, I'm going to highlight this whole little bit here and control C. That's copy. And notice it puts it there. Now I'm going to hit escape. And then I'm going to click down here and hit F2 to put it in edit mode. And I'm going to highlight that both times, including the equal sign and control C. Notice how it's filling up. You can have up to 24 items and then you can paste them in any order. I'm going to click escape. Now what we want to do is check to see if someone entered two or fewer decimals. So we're going to extract the uh, two decimals from uh, the, the, their data entry and compare it to all of the digits after the decimal. If those two are the same, then it will say true. If it's not, meaning they entered more than two decimals, uh, it'll come up uh, false. So you ready? Equals, oops. F2 to put it into edit mode, and then double click this, and then double click this. That is a cool way of taking two formulas that you need, or two parts of formulas that you need in one formula, and pasting them, and then hit enter. I'm going to close this clipboard so we can see now. And see, it's false. Now, watch this. Now we have a way of telling. What if I type 0.1? True. What if I point 0.99? True, we've entered less than uh, uh, two or fewer decimals. But what happens if I type 1? Oh, value error. That's because the find, this part of the formula right here, and here's a great way of seeing this didn't find a, uh, a decimal. So we have to do something about that. By the way, you can highlight that and hit F9 and see that that's the problem. That's the value error. No problem. I'm going to click in this cell right here and hit F2. And I'm going to copy this whole thing without the equal sign, because we're going to need that. We're just going to do a little um, if formula. I'm going to Control C, so I'm copying that part of the formula. And then I'm going to click Escape. Now I'm going to scroll down here. And I'm going to say equals if. Now, what's causing the problem? The find, right? So this find comes out to be an error or a number. So as the first part of the logical test for the if, I'm going to say is number. Is number. And what is a number? The find thing we did. Find what? Um, a decimal or a period. Where is that? In this cell right here. Close parentheses on the find close parentheses on the is number. Now this will always, when you see the is formulas like is number, is text, or there's a bunch of other is functions like that, they always come out to be true or false. So this is always going to come out to be true or false. So when we have an integer here, this will come out to be uh, false because it's not. So what do we want in this cell if it is false? I'm going to put a comma. Silly me, I can't even read the uh, screen tips right here. Not what what it's put what to put in the cell if it's false. It's, this part right here is value if true. So if this find comes out to be a number and the is number tells us, yeah, this is a number, then we want that whole big thing we have loaded into our clipboard. So I'm going to Control V for paste. Otherwise, if it's not, I'm going to put true because guess what? If you have just an integer there like 33 or $1,000, they have entered uh, two characters or fewer for a decimal. So I'm going to type T-U-R-E and then close parentheses. Now we got to test it. we got to test it. 0.99, this one comes out to be true. 0.999. This one comes out to be false because we've entered more than two decimals. One, ooh, these all are errors, but that one's coming out true. Now, what about 900.99? True. So that's a true-false formula there built in a, in a number of steps using the clipboard, that cool little trick, to see whether someone has entered two or fewer decimals. Now, when we come back in our next YouTuber, we'll combine the first two YouTube true-falses in data validation and do a bunch of other cool data validation things. All right, see you next trick.